its number 42 day. Jackie Robinson, of course, elected to the Hall of Fame. And on his plaque, Jackie Robinson was recognized not only for what he did on the field, but also off the field. Jackie Robinson, there is no doubt about it that he was the right man for this job. He understood the weight of what he was doing with the country, not just mm -hmm. baseball, but in the country. And uh, he made an impact. He did it gracefully, uh, beautifully, and we continue to respect him and honor him today. This what a fascinating lineup today to see Christian Vasquez, the catcher, playing second base. And Rem, you've said it for years, anyone can pop in and play <laughs> second base. <laughs> it's the easiest position in the world. Well, it is a surprise, isn't it? Yeah. You know, Pedroia was originally a lineup as a second baseman today, but they've scratched him and made him the DH is in the leadoff spot. Yeah. Vasquez is out there today, and hopefully he does a great job for him. And It's great to see Jake Peavy today, too, yeah. throughout the first pitch. Throughout the first pitch, he threw a strike. Sinking fastball. Jake, a champion from the 13 Red Sox club. And Velasquez, one of those very valuable guys on a team. You know, can come in, work out of the bullpen, give you a number of innings you need at a spot start. He's available to do that for you. Top half of the first inning. And a ground ball to Vasquez. Bogarts won. They turn the double play. 4 6 3. Christian Vasquez got it going. Well, we were just talking about that, how the baseball finds you, and he was flawless turning the double play. Well, watch the throw to second base. Oh, a seed. He threw a seed right there to, uh, <laughs> to Bogarts at second base, but well done with a big smile on his face as he comes back in. Pedroia loves it. His teammates all pumped up over that. The way Velasquez has started on the mound, they'll be lucky to get four innings out of him. I mean, he really does not have very good control of anything. That one, that's going to go towards the wall, left center field. That's going to hit halfway up. Run will score. Headed to second base. Could be a play. Sliding. And he's out. Nunez, an RBI single, and then gets thrown out. Trying to get to second base. And Vasquez has to come back to the bag to make the tag. That's, that's a nice play by Vasquez again. He's making all the plays. He is. Orioles up a run and looking to put a few more on the board right away. No place to put them. The number nine hitter, the one two. Looked like he offered. He did. They appealed third base umpire, and that's a swing and a miss. Well, you, a strikeout. you can book a catch. I mean, you get two strikes on a guy, you got to see a high fastball. Two away. High pop up. There's Moreland. In foul ground under. He's got it. And Hector Velasquez escapes. Straley with a one ball two strike count. Devers off first base. Here's did he go. Yeah. So they clock him up. On the strikeout. Mark Wagner down to first base. Straley gets his first K. No runs, no hits, no errors. And one left on base. Orioles lead it. One nothing. Here's Dwight Smith. He hit into the 4-6-3 inning inning double play in the first inning. Started by Christian Vasquez. If you're just tuning in, Vasquez for the first time in his career playing. Second base scooped up by Bogart's got the out. Nice play to turn two. A lot of athleticism in that effort and another twin killing. Yeah, Red Sox have had a couple already in this game, but watch Bogart's readjust. I mean, comes around, makes the play, checks out the runner, grabs it himself with the right foot and a jump throw to first base to get the double play. Very nice by Xander Bogart's. He figured he'd keep the way the ball away from Vasquez right there and take it himself. Nectar Velasquez delighted with that second double play. We have these new automatic windows at Fenway. Ours are, ours are open. Joe Castig tried to open his today, but for some reason it's malfunctioned and, and it's about 80 degrees in there. Uh, see, McDonough's got a fan going in there right now <laughs> to keep himself cool. As How did Joe break the window? Joe broke the window. We don't know how. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine he's going to be all over him. Oh my God! Well, it's tough because this time of year is tough on me. It's like <laughs> go, go back over there. <laughs> Orioles probably feel like they ought to have two or three runs at this point because they accepted four walks in the first two innings. Cut on and miss. Down goes Davis. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Walden. Chris unhappy with that bat and the bat. So. So much for that bat. Ooh. He struck him out. Walden gets him. One, two, three on strikeouts. Orioles won for three today in these situations. Oh, won the count with one down. Walden's delivery hit hard to first. Right field base hit. 
Making the turn, Martin up with it. Martinez only play at second base to hold the runner. So an RBI single, and VR gives the Orioles a 2 nothing lead. So Dwight Smith Jr. an RBI chance. And he takes it down the line. That one headed to the corner. And did he get it? Yes, goodbye home run. Right down by the pesky pole. And he got it in. I think the first row of seats and only had about 10 feet to work with. It's a home run. <laughs> well, Australia very deliberate with men on. Gonna hold the runner. And a ground ball to third. Ruiz fires in the second for one on the first. Not in time as a run comes in to score. Xander Bogard's touching on plate. Red Sox are on the board. And uh, Brandon Hyde, Orioles skipper, has come out to talk to the crew chief. Well, I just want to make sure, obviously, that uh, there wasn't one of those interference calls out there at second base, sliding illegally. They're going to challenge. To break up a double play. So they're not going to change the call. All kinds of discussions. Yeah, I, I think Brandon's uh, upset about how aggressively he slid over the base. And he's gone. Brandon's thrown out. Welcome to the world of those in the clubhouse before the game is over. Hey, you're out of the ball game. I shall get your say in here. And he does. So Brewer trying to hold and keep it four to one. Little floater here, racing out Xander Bogarts in the back pedal, still backing up. He can't get to it. But what a play here. Pierce came sliding in and some play there to bail out the Red Sox with an outstanding effort. The Orioles got a chance to add to their lead. They're up four to one. Davis, couple of strikeouts and a walk. Delivers that one to right field. It is way back. And goodbye, home run. Chris Davis delivers the long ball. Take it slow, take it easy, and take it. It's all being done here in Boston. Off the snide as far as the no hit, plate appearance numbers, and now the home run. So a chance to add to it. The infield is going to be drawn in. Gets one down the line, left field. That will score a couple. It'll take a hop off the base of the wall, dropped a bit by Pierce, but would.